So we're going to get this base page out. I believe this is going to be page number one. I, I haven't made my final selection yet, but we're going to be working on the back of this one. So we have this, turn it over. So this is the spine side. So this is going to be the spine side here. I always need to know which side is the spine, so as I'm working, I know what I'm doing. Not that I know what I'm doing in any way. So, spine side there. So this is going to be a top, bottom. So first thing you're going to do, you are going to get um, this one first. You are going to get a piece of cardstock seven and a half inches. Let's see. Is this the one that goes here? Yes. So this is seven and a half inches wide by six and a quarter inches tall. Seven and a half inches wide by six and one quarter inch wide and tall, tall. You are going to put it in the scoreboard with the seven and a half inch part on top and you're going to score it at a half an inch. Go ahead and fold and burnish, miter the corners, and I put, I use score tape, so I'm going to put score tape. So get that flap done. Well, I'm doing another insertion video for page two because there was some problems that I ran into, um, unforeseen problems. So you will see there's going to be this flap that you're going to be installing. It is seven inches wide, the length of the, the pocket page. And then there's this bottom flap. Originally, the bottom flap was seven inches wide also. So the process video, it does it with seven inches wide all the way through. The problem I had is once I attached it to the album, this flap get kept getting caught just right here by the, the spine and I didn't like that. So what I did, I had to tear the whole thing up. Um, I cut this to six inches and seven, seven inches. So we have a half an inch on this side, half an inch on this side, and now it clears and it doesn't catch. So in the, the video, you will see me put cut to six inches, not seven. So when you're doing that, make sure you, you see that. The, the design of the paper is gonna be all the same, except for the, this width, the length of these will all be different than the process video. But just, it'll, it'll make sense once you see it. Then you are going to get another flap that is seven inches wide. And then the way I, I want it five and a half inches plus one sixteenth of an inch tall, whatever that works out to. And you are going to put it in your scoreboard with the five and a half plus one sixteenth side up and you're going to Score it at a half an inch. Fold, burnish, miter your corners. If you want score tape, put score tape. Then you're going to get two pieces. Both of them are six and a quarter inch tall. One of them is three and one quarter inch wide. You're going to put it in your scoreboard and score a half an inch with a three quarter inch side up, half an inch, fold, burnish, miter your corners. This one is six and a quarter inch tall, two and a quarter inch wide. Put it with a two and a quarter inch side up. Oop. Score it at a half an inch. Fold, burnish, miter the corners. 
So we got our four pieces. Put these two to the side. So the first piece that you're going to be attaching, not this one, is this one. This is the seven and a half inches by six and a quarter inches. You scored, I've already scored, um, mitered my corners. You are going to find the center of this flap. So make a tick mark, find the center of this flap. Find the center of um, this page, so it's gonna be four inches. One, two, three, four. And you are going to align the center of this, uh, where's my flap? Uh, the center of this flap, which is right there, with the center of your base page. It's so hard to see black on black, but there, there, there's the center of both. And you are going to fix this so it's flush with this corner it should be the exact same width as your base page once it's down. So that, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. So this flap is in. Let me get a piece of white, white paper so you can see it. So this flap is in. So next what you're going to do You're going to get this this one that was five and a half inches plus one sixteenth of an inch tall by seven inches wide. You're going to adhere this down with the flap you just put down. So you're going to adhere it down on this edge like this. It sh should be the same width as the one above it, so make sure it does get squared away. And then you know, miter your, your your edges here. If you use score tape or glue, get that down. So I'm going to get that down. So you have the side flap and this flap in. Now we're going to work on the left flap. You are going to get the three and one quarter inch piece. You're going to find the center of that piece, find the center of your base again, line it up with the edge. I'm using score tape. Make sure your your corners are mitered and then you're going to put that down. So just make sure it's aligned. This all should be even. This and this flap and this flap should be even. So put that down and once you get that down this flap is just going to be centered over, this little flap is just gonna be centered on top of the flap you just put down. So we got that flap, and then this flap is just gonna be centered right on top of this flap. So get those two flaps down. So I have these two flaps on the left down. Oh, Open it up, and then there's your um, score edge. We are going to be closing this to form a pocket. So what I am going to do is I'm going to be applying my black construction tape over this, this half inch lip, and then apply some um, glue here, and then just close the pocket up. And then I'll be right back. Actually, I'm not gonna close it up because I wanna get my designer paper in there first, and then I'll close it. That way I don't have to worry about it. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna get my black construction tape and then just leave it open for now. So we're gonna start adding our designer paper. So with this piece, this is the right flap and this is the pull down piece. Put a piece of white cardstock so you can see better. You're going to get this paper it's from the eight by eight, and you are going to cut 
a piece that is, is 3 8 of an inch wide by 6 and 7 8 inches long. So you're going to cut two, two pieces. Ink the edges and you're going to have one piece go up here. You're going to fix that down and then you're going to have one piece go down at the bottom of the flap down here. Like that. Not this part, but on the flap itself, this part on the flap. So you're going to cut those two pieces, ink them, and get those down. Once you have those pieces down, you are going to go to the 12 by 12 backgrounds and you're going to get this piece. Same width is going to be six and seven eighths, and you are going to cut the height depending on where you got those strips in. So you would just, once those strips are in, you just kind of, I like a little bit of black reveal between my pieces of paper. So I'm going to be trimming it down somewhere with that much black reveal here, and then I'll trim it down here. So that is going to go here with a little bit of black re reveal between the top strip and the bottom strip. So I'm going to get all those um, cut, and inked, and put down, and I'll be back. So we have our strips in, everything is in. Now we are going to add a magnetic closure. So you are going to cut out this from the eight by eight collection, or you can cut out any one you want. I mean, you, you've got lots to choose from. This is the one I chose. I am going to, I've inked the edges. I'm going to back it on a hundred pound black cardstock just to strengthen it. And I'm also cut a, a, a die with a scallop edge. It's not quite wide enough, um, but it's good enough. And what I'm going to do is I am going to adhere this on here, like that, and then this on there, like that. And then I'm going to put this somewhere in the middle like that. And that will be our, our magnetic closure. So once I get those all glued together, then I will add my magnet back here and then add transfer the magnet up to this flap up here. But first, I got to get all these together. If I didn't show you how I did the, I just used my circle die. Well, this is a scallop circle die. Um, paint it with Deco Art or any of the ones that they have at Joann's or, or Michael's. We actually have this in our shop, this size. It's not very expensive. And then foam brushes. We have foam brushes too. So you just apply it with a foam brush. Let it dry and just adds a little sparkle and it's it's cheap. <laughs> it's cheap. So I'm going to let this dry. Um, it's got lots of layers of glue. Glue will make it stronger. Then I'm going to figure out where to put it and get my magnet transferred over. So I have my magnet in here, so that's placed in the center as well as I could get it in center. Um, got my magnet in place, going to go ahead and transfer this magnet over. Now 
that magnets in place. Okay, so we're gonna have to cover up this magnet. We're gonna get some paper. I left a little space under there, so hopefully I can um, slip some paper under there. I'll be cutting it with a die. But now we can um, put this paper on. So this, was, I got so many different colors. That, that one is this paper. So we are going to be putting this paper. Um, this is, where is it? This, you can either get it from the 8x8 or the 12x12. 12 12. Here's Here it is from the 12x12 12 12 backgrounds. So this is it. And have it in this direction. I guess it doesn't really matter. They're the same. And you're going to cut a piece that is, what was it? One and a quarter inches, one and one eighth inches. Um, let me get a look at my drawings. I put one and a quarter. Is it one and a quarter? No, I did one and an eighth. This is one and an eighth. Gosh, I can't see. One and one eighth inches wide by six and seven eighths. One and one eighth inches in this direction, and in this direction it's six and seven eighths. So I'm going to get my uh, black, pull this, put my black construction tape down, and then put this over here like that, and be right back. So the flap is in, got this top sheet in that's covering that magnet. I'm going to go to the same paper and cut two strips 6 and 7 eighths inches wide by 3 eighths of an inch um, in this direction. And that's going to go down here right before the fold line. And then this one's going to go down here, like that. So go ahead and get them squared up, ink the edges, and I'm going to put those in, if you can see. So this one's right above the fold line, and then this one is at the bottom of the, the flap right like that. So these strips are in. So I'm gonna use this paper. This is the paper we used for right here. Uh, I just cut a little piece down from here. I'm gonna use my scallop die, the same one I used to make this, and just do a half circle because I don't need all of it. And I'm going to punch um, cut that out and ink it and I'm going to adhere it back to this. I may need to do some trimming So I trimmed it and I'm going to slip it under there and glue that in and it's going to sit right like that Okay, let's see. Where are we? So this this is in this front flap this pull tab has been matted on the front and the back. The magnets are covered. We need to do this flap, but we're going to be adding magnets here and here, and they're going to be attaching to this little flap here. So I'm going to go ahead and get my magnets put here and here, and then transfer them over down to here. So I'm going to be adding a pole ribbon for this closure, and I have this in my stash. Um, I'm pretty sure, I'm, well, I'm not sure where this came from. I think it's from Joann's, and it's 5 eighths of an inch wide, and it's just called Golden. I've used it before, and it just kind of matches the gold. It's going to go, if I can open this up, oh my gosh. Those magnets are strong. It's going to go right here. Now this is the spine, so this is going to be on the outside. So it's going to be sticking out a little bit like this. 
um, but that's okay. It's kind of centered with that. I'll put this around like this. So that's where it's going to go. So I'm going to adhere that one down. Okay, um, so that ma the magnets are in, the flaps, everything's in on this side. We've got the magnets. I've covered them with black construction tape. Now we're going to open everything up, and you're going to come to the inside um, of the, the back of the pocket page. You're going to go to the 12 by 12 and get this paper. I've already cut it off, um, but it was I think this was attached to here, or maybe on this side. Yeah, it must have been on this side. And I think, and then there was this, this piece here. So I cut this part out and you have enough, it's pretty wide, to do two of these. And these measure six and seven eighths um, by one and a quarter inches wide. So there's, make sure there's six and seven eighths. Yeah, six and seven eighths by one and a quarter inches. And those are going to go here on the top here like that and then down here like this so when this is all closed you're going to see that something like that once it's all squared away which i think is so pretty so go ahead and let's get those in Okay, um, back with this. This has been a, a difficult page for me. <laughs> and originally, we were just going to have this flap. So this pulls down, and then this opens up. And I guess that's, that's fine. That's, that's probably fine and you don't need to do this next step if you don't want to I just don't like it when I'm pulling up it's kind of pulling that flip up with it see I just don't like the feel of that um, that's just me so I wanted to put a magnet to hold this flip down and then put a little ribbon to pull it up I mean it, you don't have to do this step it's just me I, if, I, if it doesn't feel right I to me. So this magnet is to let me know there's a magnet there that's from the other side that's from here. So I want to stay away from this magnet. So I am going to be putting a magnet here, right here. And I want it to be so that it, the repel side, oops, if I can get my magnets, so I want it so the repel side, boy, this is stuck. The repel side, not the, the attraction side, but the repel side is facing up. That way they're not pulling towards each other, if that makes sense. Oops, it just repelled it there. So let me go back to the repel. That's the, the traction side. So this is the repel side. So I want my repel side facing up. So I'm gonna put my dot of glue down. And I drew this line, so that's the edge of this flap. That's where it goes, right there. So make sure it's not right, but yeah, that's my repel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's the repel side is up, repel side is up, repel side up, attraction side down. So I'm going to put that there and let that dry. And obviously I do not need this one again. So I can take off, that was just my marker to let me know where the other, the other magnet was. So 
Let me put some tape and I'll come back. So I got my magnet here. I transferred the other magnet over and I added my little ribbon pole here. So now I'm just going to remove this and put my black construction tape. Now we're going to, now we can finish this pocket up. So where am I, where am I? This, this paper, this, I think this is from the eight by eight. This is from the eight by eight. You are going to cut a piece that fits inside this pocket right here. So you're going to cut a piece that fits inside this pocket. Make sure you clear this edge here. And you're going to put that down. And once you get that down, you can go ahead and seal off this pocket. Put your, your glue on the edges here. No need to put glue down here. Just put your glue there. Put this here and then get this paper. This is from the 12 by 12, not, not that one. Where is it? I've got so many of these little papers. Where is it? Here it is. I've got all these. This one, you're going to cut this one to size and put this down here. So you will have your paper choices put in like this. So this is from the eight by eight, this is from the 12 by 12. And now you've covered up the magnets here. You've closed off your pocket. Once you've got that red paper in, you've closed this off with glue. Turn this over and this, is this the piece that goes here? No, this piece goes here. And then this piece, obviously from the 12 by 12 is going to go in the back side here. So green, red, and then the green on the back. So I'm going to get all those down. I just wanted to show you something that I do. Nobody else probably does this and you do not have to do this. When I have magnets, especially I want to, I, I glue them down and then I, I put score tape and then I put my black construction tape to kind of smooth everything out. And then my last thing that I do on whatever edge it's on, since I use score tape, I put a double layer of score tape there to make sure it's all adhered down. Why do I do that? Um, I just want to make sure that because there's lots of pulling on those magnets every time you move it. I want to make sure there's never any separation, probably way overkill, but that's what I do. So we got this in, got this side in, and now we're going to add this piece. Same, it's from the same paper as this one. This is from the 12 by 12 backgrounds. You're going to cut a piece that's two inches wide by um, one eighth less than your six and a quarter inch page. So six and one eighth, and you're going to put that here. So just make sure you clear that. I've already inked, I've got my um, score tape on it. So I'm gonna put that down there. Okay, now we're ready to do the inside paper. I'm not sure if this is going to work. This is my idea. This is from the 12 by 12 core. You're going, we've already cut the edges off of here. So what we're, or at least what I'm going to try to do, I don't want this too busy. I was going to use this paper for here, here, and then the inside front flap, but there wasn't enough paper. So I thought, well, I'm going to kind of bring this in and see if this will work. It may not work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, number one, remove this strip where the rope is. I'm going to cut that right there. So I'm going to cut that off. Save this. We may be able to use it for something else. So put it in your 
got my little um, cutouts, cut aparts there. So now we're going to put this down here. I don't want this part in. It's just kind of too busy. So I measured it here and here. This is the part I am going to cut. So you just put your tick marks and we're gonna be using this top portion for another piece. So we don't wanna cut all the way up. Just cut here and then down here. So I'm going to get that cut and see how it looks. It may still be too busy, but we'll see. So I have this piece cut out and inked and it's, it looks, I think it looks nice right there. So on this side, you're gonna get the 12 by 12 um, backgrounds. You're going to make it the same width as this paper up here and mark it. And then you're going to come down to where the edge is down here and mark how um, the, the height that you want it. So I'm gonna mark that and I'm just going to cut this piece out. I'm trying to preserve this paper, um, so I don't wanna cut all the way down, um, but that's just me. I like to make sure, this is, we only have one of these, and I wanna make sure it, um, I save as much as I can. So here are these two pieces. This one's been cut out. I've inked the edges, so that's going to sit there. And this one is going to be here. So I'm going to affix those down. So we have our paper in. So that is what the spread looks like. I think that's, that's a pretty little accent up there. So close that. Now we're going to do this inside spread here. So you have these two pieces left. So we cut out a piece from this, this one from the 12 by 12 backgrounds and this one from the 12 by 12 um, core. So what are we going to do? We're we gonna put it down here or here. I think, oh my God. I don't know if I wanna put that down there and then this like that. So we have these blue splatters here and here. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I am going to cut this, measure this and cut it here. So we're just gonna have a little bit of this peeking through. If you wanna add more of the flower, you would just go up and then cut the blue here. So it depends on how much of that flower you want to be showing. I'll figure that out for myself. Um, I might have that much showing. I don't know until I start cutting, but it's gonna be something like that. And then this one will be like this. So we're gonna cut those to size. So this is what I ended up, how I ended up cutting that paper at the bottom. So I kind of like that. It just kind of, this red kind of flows into this red. So that's the way that looked. And then this is the top sheet. So we have the blue flowing into the blue. So that is that, that inside piece done. This was a hard page for me. It was a real hard page what's going on why does this not close what did i do wrong oh no what did i do wrong did I, oh, I did something wrong what did i do wrong oh no well i did something wrong <laughs> i put this over the edge oh my gosh so now i gotta take this out i used um score tape, but I put it up against this, but we have a fold there so it doesn't close. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take this out. You don't make that mistake. Does this one work? This one, this one's fine. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I did that. Okay, so I'm gonna to have to undo this and take this out. Okay, so I used my undo, removed the paper, cut off a half an inch, a half an inch, an eighth of an inch up here to clear it, so now it closes. Oh my gosh, don't make that mistake. I was lining it up with this strip down here, so I wasn't paying attention to my fold. So there it is. So there's that inside. So I think that looks really nice. Call this one almost done. Need to do some more decorations.